morning and welcome to the playlist of S3 buckets. So this is the second video and in this video we are going to learn that how to create a bucket policy and how to attach that policy to our bucket to make our bucket publicly accessible. So let's start. So before starting to see that how to create a bucket policy, let's talk about S3 security first of all. So we have two types of security in our S3 service. One is the user-based security and second is the resource-based security. In user-based security, we create IAM policy. So IAM policy actually provides the permissions to the particular user to access particular things. Right. So if you want to do that, you can create an IAM policy for a particular user to provide the permissions. And if you want to provide the resource-based security, then you can create bucket policies. So in this video, we are going to create a bucket policy and we are going to make our bucket publicly accessible. So any user can access our objects which are present into our bucket. If you want to go to object level, then you can use object ACL. And if you want to go to the bucket level, then you can also use bucket ACL for that. And the main thing of security in any uh, form is encryption. So with encryption keys, we can encrypt our S3 objects and we can uh, provide the encryption to our S3 bucket. Now let's talk about the bucket policy. So first of all, bucket policies are based on JSON. So to create a bucket policy, we need to create a JSON script and we need to add it. Then next, policy contains important parameters such as ID, principal, effect, resources, etc. So now let's take example and uh, learn each and every parameter in detail. So here is the example. So first of all, we have version, we have ID and the most important block is the statement block here. So first of all, in that we have our policies ID, right? Then we have our principal parameter. So in principal parameter, we need to define that what all users you want to provide, you want to allow to your bucket. So here we need to specify the username or here we have specified star because we are allowing each and every user to access our bucket policy. Then next is the effect parameter. So in effect parameters, you have to use two keywords. First, allow. Or daily. If you want to allow your bucket for access, then you can use allow keyword. And if you want to deny your access, then you can use deny keyword in the effect parameter. Then next, we have the action parameter. So here we are going to define the action which we want to do on our bucket, which we want to allow on our bucket. Right? So here we have to specify the action. Then last, but the most important parameter is the resource parameter here we are actually going to provide the ARN of our bucket which we are going to use and which we for which we are going to allow our access for other users so here we are going to specify the buckets ARN and last year you can see the slash and star which means that for all the objects in the bucket the, uh, the policy is going to be uh, provided okay so this is the bucket policy example we have four important parameters which is principal for the user effect to allow or any action to provide the action and resource to provide our bucket arn so now let's move on to the real time example and see that actually why we need bucket policy and why we need to create one of them now let's take an example of bucket policy so first of all here we have a s3 bucket and then we have an outsider user who wants to access our objects which are present into our bucket. So here we have to create a bucket policy to give the public access of all the objects to the outsider user. So first of all, we are going to create a bucket policy and we'll attach that policy to our S3 bucket. So the outsider user will be able to access all the objects which are present in into our S3 buckets. So this is the main and the first example for which uh, you need to create a bucket policy and, in, and you need to attach that policy to your S3 bucket to make your bucket publicly accessible. So now let's take the second example of IAM user. So let's say that we have a S3 bucket and we have uploaded some objects into our S3 bucket. We have an IAM user who wants to access our objects which are uploaded into the S3 bucket. So we need to provide some permissions to the user. So only he will be able to access the objects which are present into our bucket. So this is the second example of the IAM user. So this is the last thing but most important thing which is 
bucket block public access so in aws console we get this option to block all the public access or to unblock all the public access so this option we can be enabled and disabled through the aws console itself so now let's move on to the hands on and create our first bucket policy and attach to our bucket so now let's create our very first bucket policy as we know that we are not able to access our object through the public url as we have not provided the permissions to it so let's create a bucket policy and attach so we can uh, access our image through the public url so let's go to the objects part let's click on our buckets name and let's go to the permissions part then we'll edit the block public access right let's edit it we'll unblock it we'll allow the public access here and we'll save the changes as it is a very uh, crucial uh, option it will ask for the confirmation so let's give confirm and the buckets are public now the objects of the buckets are public now okay so now we have to create a bucket policy so down we have a option called bucket policy we need to edit it okay so here is the part where we will create our bucket policy we have also policy examples if you don't know how to create a bucket policy you can see that you can view the examples here you can edit the examples in your own way and you can copy the policy and paste it in the file part where we have to paste the policy right but uh, at this time we are not going to edit by ourselves we are going to generate our policy using the policy generator so let's click on policy generator and here first of all we are going to create the policy for our s3 bucket so select s3 bucket policy here in the type of policy then of course we are going to give effect allow we have to allow the access so we'll give here allow and principal as we know that in the principal we have to specify the user so we are going to allow every user in our bucket so we will provide your star then next parameter is the actions one so we have to provide the action which we are allowing so we will allow the get object action so anybody can get the object from our bucket so here is the get option select it okay done we have selected one option one action here okay last uh, but most important thing is the arn of the bucket so let's go to our bucket part and copy the bucket arn from here and give the arn here and we'll provide slash star so slash star means all the objects are included in our bucket will get the public access right now let's add the statement and generate our policy click on generate policy so our policy is generated we have uh, uh, allowed the action get object then effect allow and the source our arn bucket arn is uh, here and for every object and the principal is for every user so we have generated the policy let's copy it and paste it on that part this is a json format as we know now let's paste this in this policy part okay so we have pasted it and now we'll save the changes okay so we have now successfully created and attached our policy to our bucket so you can see here now our bucket is publicly accessible now let's go to our public url of the object and try to refresh it you will be able to see the image of course okay so we are able to see the image here yes so we have provided the permission and we have allowed access for the public users so only we are able to view our image here so that's how we can create a bucket policy and we can attach it that's it for the video meeting you in the next video